On this episode of TFL Camper Corner, it's all about van life. And it's specifically this, the 2021 Summit Adventure Van, long speak, four wheel drive, Mercedes Sprinter. Actually, if you have been watching TFL Truck, you may have seen a very similar van, but for 2021, there's so many changes and most of them are inside. Do you love motorcycles? So do we. That's why we're bringing TFL videos to two wheels. Check out TFL Bike for all things two wheels. Link is down in the description. So Brian, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, so kind of the story, it's on the inside, is that right? Correct, yeah, the, the, the whole build, uh, the layout is nearly identical to what it was in 20, but everything works differently and everything works smartly and we've got a lot more uh, storage capacity uh, in the galley. Yeah, so as soon as you open the door, when I first met you yeah. today, um, first of all, the floor looks different, the cabinetry, so let's kind of go over the kitchen first, I guess. Sure. Um, and see what's going on here. We've moved the water storage to a location in the back, so what we've got is, real depth drawers, a double the size of a refrigerator, and a 10 inch deep bar sink. Cabinetry, I mean this is deep stuff, see that? Deep drawers, pull it all the way out. This is kind of, I'm kind of learning about this as we go. Right. So I really appreciate that. Sure, and then this is something, a feature that a lot of folks really like is that it's a full depth, flat bottom. 10 inch deep bar stick with a articulating spray nozzle. All right, so let's get more light on this subject. <laughs> actually, I like this thing. It looks really kind of high end, actually. Is this new, the sliding window? The sliding window is new and standard for 21. Allows you to vent, get cross breezes when you've got this door open and allows you to vent when you're cooking. Okay, induction top. Induction top, yes. Okay, that's kind of been there before That has well. been there before, yeah, that is no change. Okay. And the microwave has always been located as well. All right, let's see. So you got a solar kit, obviously. So long speak, is that a little bit more of a premium model? Is that how it works? We're only, we're just defining them differently based on the chassis. Okay. So the long speak is the Mercedes and the Pikes Peak, which will come uh, in early 21 is the Transit. The Ford Transit. Yeah. Will you bring it by yes. uh, to, to show the Transit Definitely. to us? Okay. So yeah, so full kind of cabin up here. Solar kit, obviously there's a solar panel up top. Yep. 180 okay. watts of solar. Okay. Uh, and then we do we added this pantry, so you've got food storage or shorts. Or shorts. I mean, this this <laughs> van's be been on the it's been on the road. I yes, mean, this is yeah. um, this is not just a show queen. <laughs> We've got 6,000 miles on. All right, and of course it's the diesel chassis Mercedes Sprinter, correct? Right, correct. Yeah. And if you have a small trailer, maybe uh, you're carrying a side by side with you, off road machine of some kind. Uh, this will tow up to 5,000 pounds. You do have a 7-pin connector right here for your trailer wiring. And of course, uh, this video would not be complete if I didn't go fishing. So, back. Ah, so if you are in the van down by the river, um, this is perfect for fishing as well. See? Kind of clear the roof maybe. Something else we'd like to point out is we've added um, cold rolled steel here for some, some you know, so it makes it look nice and it's very functional to put magnetic items up there. Oh, and your notes and all that stuff. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's cool. All right, so this is kind of all new also. So first of all, I see you kept your floor. This floor has got these um, kind of track system, right? Where you can mount anything anywhere. That's right, it's Basically. a smart floor system. So what is this? Is this just an ottoman? That is our, cassette toilet cabinet so it's oh. been built to yeah lift the top there okay we've got our thetford 565e um, electric flush cassette toilet uh -huh. um, hidden away in a cabinet that also acts as a bench so can you remove this if you don't want it yeah or? it is not fixed in place how do um, i how do i do it just move it it's got two handles on it on okay. the side there okay and you can pick it up and move it um, oh, so it's not that heavy. No. You got your switch panel. Tell me a little bit more about this. Sure. So we've got your tank monitors 
we've got the thermostat for the coach heater uh -huh. and then light switches uh, we have this is new this year an all off power which turns everything off so you know when you park it you're not going to be uh, have any battery draw mm -hmm. and then this is the control for your inverter okay and this little blue button here is new we uh, you saw speakers maybe in the back doors there uh -huh. we have a standalone bluetooth okay gotcha yeah ac unit yep, here top ac as an option in our build okay and shore power for yes. ac correct? correct okay so i want to talk a little bit more about the inverter system because yeah. that's pretty interesting because yeah. Everybody now has more accessories. Yeah. You know, everybody wants more power. Right. So we'll talk about that in a second. But show me the bed system. Okay. So the bed is all new. I don't know whether you remember from the 20, we used to have to have cross members. Yes, right. To lay out. Right. Now we don't have to anymore. We've designed this so that it, it uh, cantilevers and it floats. So you don't need supports above or below. And you've got an over 300 pound capacity on both sides. But the, there's also going to be a table, is there? Is yeah, right? so what we realized is after we after we designed this is that this is a perfect bar height and an 18 inch stool creates, uh, without these accessories here, enough room for three folks to sit there and eat comfortably. So if the weather is nasty outside, yeah. you know, maybe you can move the mattress, yep. right? You can hole up, yep. You have a window, Correct. Um, and actually you can hang out inside. That's right. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now the bed total is a queen size, is that right? It is queen. It is 75 inches across in the because of the flare spaces we use on this okay. bed, and it's 65 wide, so it is a it's a full queen. Do you want to fold it just yeah. down just for a sec? Sure. So you can kind of put these mattresses together, right? That's right. Yeah, they fold yeah. together. And the little cushion. You've got flare spaces to fill, and then you have your roll up screens. Which is privacy bug, back bug, here. Bug screen as bug well. Bug and privacy on that. Uh -huh. Yep. And then this, the side one is a uh, bug only. So what's like the total value? How, where does this uh, van start? MSRP in a standard build is one fifty nine nine. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about the heater, kind of. Walk me through some of the cubbies under here as well. Okay. Yeah, so they're mostly enclosed, but you've got your 2000 watt inverter here. You've got all your breakers and fuse panel in front of that. And we have behind that the two 12 volt lithium ion batteries and our battery manager from Red Arc. Right here. And this is basically house batteries. So the, these are the house batteries. For the so RV. We have 210 amp hours. So we have an added feature back here before we have the. Uh, the water spout with the spray port and the hose that goes in there. Mm -hmm. And we've added a, an onboard air compressor. Oh, okay. That will... That's very cool. Yeah, with a with a 25 foot hose so you can air up your own tires if you need to, if you're on a beach and you need to air back up. Um, and any other toy you have as well. And uh, water, so you can plug in the water yep. down here. Yeah, the water plugs in right there. 18 gallon a quick water tank. tank, correct? It's an 18 gallon fresh yeah. tank now, yes. Okay. This should have a little bit of water in it. Yes. There you go. And there's also some light controls here. Yep, yeah, if you're digging into your, your gear, uh -huh. you can light it at night. And then this is a wind sensing awning as well. And it's legless, so when you put it out, if it, if it buffets for more than, I think, a second and a half, it'll go in on its own. Okay. So basically when you get a long speak addition like this, everything we kind of went over already is standard, right? That's right. So, and then you can add some chairs, maybe the uh, cassette yeah. toilet. Correct. But but there's not, I mean, it's already fully almost built, uh, but you can add a little bit more to it. You can make it a little more off-road, kind of here I am sort of announcing itself with the front bumper, front <laughs> backwards adventure mods. Yes. And also this front bumper, this optional bumper, also has a hitch receiver in the front. So if you want to do another step up here, uh, you have different options. So the bumpers would be extra additional options. Correct. Okay, gotcha. And the AC is the only other option in the build. But the roof rack Everything and the ladder happens. and the solar system, that's kind of built in. All standard. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotcha. Very nice. Well, thanks for showing the, the van to us. Yeah, and glad I was able to. Coming along. And yeah. guys, if you want to see more RVs, motorhomes, trailers for camping, um, stay on this channel, TFL Truck, for TFL Camper Corner, and go back to tfltruck.com for more news views on the real world, of course, van life, RV reviews.